Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on this particular Living Dead doll that I just got in two days ago. And I just finally got around to doing an actual video on it. It is based on the Pennywise from the 1990 film of the same name as the 2017 movie. Except this one here is the Tim Curry version. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to examine the box. We're going to go ahead and measure it up, see how tall it is. We're going to talk about the articulation, the whole nine yards. So I will be right back. Okay, we are definitely back, and we're going to go ahead and check out the box art. And then eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out of the box, and then we're going to go ahead and inspect it and check out the articulation, as well as the design of the actual doll in itself. So with this in mind, you can kind of see what the face looks like. He's very teethy looking. This is the ugly grimace look that he does show in the 1990 miniseries that I believe is shown on NBC back in 1990. Uh, it was a three-part series uh, TV show. Uh, but it's not exactly the movie movie. Okay, not like the 2017 version. I also have a Living Dead doll based on a 2017 version. You might want to check out that video. It is sitting on this channel if you want to check that one out. But I will show you what that one looks like too alongside this Pennywise. So I do got both of the Pennywises, okay? But anyway, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in the box. The box art is absolutely cool. I love the font. Okay, the blood splots, everything. Alright. Over here on the side, this is very cool right here. Look at that. Alright. In the back, obviously, it's the way they displayed it. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. I definitely like the art in this here. So, with that in mind, let's show you the top of it. Alright. Again, the font. You can't go wrong with the fonts, okay? And the bottom of the box shows the information that you need, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down real quick and pull it out of its box, and then we're going to go ahead and inspect that in a second, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, we are back with the actual figure out of its box. Now, I did struggle with the actual balloon here, uh, trying to get it in the hole, but once I got it in there, it was fine after that. I will tell you this, it is pretty much the same as the 2017 version uh, when it comes to the balloon. It might be a little variation or a little bit different in color when it comes to the actual balloon, but it's not much different, okay? They are pretty much the same. Now normally with the 1990 version, this one here, he comes with an assortment of different color balloons, but they only gave him one in this package here, which is okay, okay? If you're into Pennywise and you like uh, the movies It and stuff like that, you're not going to complain, okay? But anyway, let's look at this bad boy. The hair and the stuff when it first comes out, you got to kind of fluff it and get him to where he needs to be, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and give that a look. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put myself in a position so I can kind of look at him sideways here. Hey kid, here's looking at you. The actual design of the suit is absolutely superb. You see, it's nice and sparkly. Okay, it is very cool looking. The ruffles are a lot different than the 2017. Obviously, the whole entire costume is different. This is more based on an actual clown. Where uh, the Pennywise for the 2017 movie is completely different, has different origins and everything. He is actually in the movie, the 2017 movie, technically he's a shapeshifter, okay? Uh, but he comes in as a clown anyway. But these are very cool looking. Okay, the feet are big enough. Now, one thing about the feet here, when this one here, it kind of wobbled a little bit, so you got to kind of adjust the feet. There is articulation in these, I believe. 
when it comes to the feet and themselves let's see if we can kind of move it yeah a little bit you can move them up and down but you got to adjust them to the point where this will stand perfectly and now you can see the back of the suit or back of the costume or the back of the clown costume is very sparkly in nature okay and his hair you need to comb his hair okay all right this is a very cool looking version when I first watched this movie back in the 1990s on NBC, uh, I thought it was a really good uh, miniseries. It, it came in three parts. I do have the, uh, the actual um, miniseries sitting on my hard drive, and I do watch it once in a while, but it's on a very rare occasion. I do prefer the 2017 version, only because it's very horror-esque, more so than the uh, 1990 version. It's a lot scarier. Uh, Bill Skarsgård, who does uh, Pennywise in that movie, superb job, superb. But I do like those movies. Okay, the second one, a lot of people criticized it. It was okay, okay, but I like the special effects in it, especially when he turned into the spider and stuff. That was cool, okay. But anyway, this is my Pennywise from the uh, 1990 miniseries that was actually shown on NBC. I can't remember the date, but it's it's out there if you go to Wikipedia. You can get all the information you need from that. The actual costume is made of some kind of a, I don't know, like a silky synth synthetic uh, material. But it is very cool looking, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the other Pennywise that I actually do get. Now he, say, nah. what's up Pennywise? No, what's up with you? <laughs> My name is Pennywise. I'm the new version. <laughs> But anyway, you, you'll notice that the, uh, the balloons, yeah, I don't know if the camera will let you see it, but there is a slight variation in color. Uh, this one here is a little lighter. This one here is a little bit darker, but it's not much different. They are, in fact, the same balloons, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to set him off to the side here a little bit. I'm going to look at this guy. Okay, Now, you'll notice uh, he's got a very cool look about him. I do like the actual facial designs on this, but I also like the original too. The original is really teethy looking. Uh, the 2017 version, because of the CGI, his mouth opens up really, really wide, and it is full of fucking teeth, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it's a cool movie, okay? All right, now this one here, as you can see, the actual suit in itself is completely different from the, uh, the, uh, the original. Only because they wanted to change it up a bit. And Bill Skarsgård did a fantastic job. And there we go with that. Okay. Hang on, guys. We'll put that back on later. Okay. All right. And the back of the hair, as you can see, he is a little on the crazy side here. Okay. But you got to keep, keep his hair perfect. All right. That's why you play with your dollies, okay? <laughs> Get to fluff it up, man. He looks cool with the with the hair out like this, okay? I don't know if you can see that or not. I should raise the camera, but that's okay. You guys can you guys get the idea. Anyway, this is my Pennywise collection so far. Okay, those are my two Pennywises from the Living Dead dolls, and they are made by Mezco figures or Mezco toys. And they run average anymore right now. They're about 60 bucks a piece, okay? But in my opinion, they're worth it if you want to display them and everything. They're absolutely perfect on my shelf, well, my bookcase. I've got a Wednesday. I got these two guys. I got Ghostface. I got another Ghostface coming in. It is the zombie version. I also got another Wednesday coming in, which is the dancing Wednesday. I got Elvira. Um, I got the Bubblehead Nurse from the Silent Hill 2, and I think there's a couple other ones that I failed to mention, but anyway, I do have a small collection of these guys. I think I'm up to maybe eight or nine of them now, but like I said, I got a few more coming in, so, and we'll do a video on them once they come in. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next video. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I am in the process of doing another uh, video based on my NECA figure, which not a figure, but it's a NECA mask based on Jason Voorhees, uh, Friday the 13th. I just got another one in. It is from part three, 
and that's before he got the axe in the head. And I've got the one with the axe in the head, and I'm going to show you the differences between the two of them. We're going to do that video next. So in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys at the next video.